From Oklahoma's News 4, this is Breaking News. And good afternoon. We want to take you back to that house fire that we were telling you about just a moment ago. It has grown significantly in size, possibly even affecting the home next to this. All of this happening just south of Edmond near Memorial and Eastern. We have Air Comfort Solutions Chopper 4 over the scene right now, where pilot Mason Dunn has been monitoring the situation over the past uh, 10 to 20 minutes. Mason, uh, it looks like this really has grown in size. Yeah, they're starting to get a handle on this, uh, Eli, but you can see the water cannon there. It has been spraying this house and the house next door, uh, throwing debris from the house onto the house next door, uh, trying to keep the house next door from uh, going up in flames. But this was uh, quite the inferno uh, earlier. Uh, large flames coming out of this house. We don't know how it started or if anybody was home. I always think about the pets that might be home. Hopefully no pets inside. Fire crews have been inside to do a preliminary check. They did not find anything, but those checks are, are done very quickly. Uh, they will actually do another one uh, when they get a little more of a handle on it. I hear firefighters on the radio talking that they're in the attic, putting water on it on the back side of this house. Now we're on the west side looking east right now. So, uh, Hopefully uh, no pets and nobody harmed. Uh, hopefully they can get this under control. The winds are light today, so this inferno just took off when it came through the roof. We actually arrived before the flames were coming through the roof. So uh, and firefighters were on the roof, quickly got off the roof when the flames came through, and it was an inferno. Uh, as you can see, it is still burning here. Uh, Memorial and Eastern, just to the southeast. Eli? Uh, Mason, you are very well aware of the weather conditions, and you said that there's only a light wind. That probably does suggest that there's something else uh, causing this uh, to spread in the way it did, because just over the past 10 minutes, this has grown from being something that was maybe more of a typical house fire to something as shocking as what we see right there in that footage that you're sending to us. Talk a little bit about the firefighters. You said previously that they were working in defensive mode. Uh, does that still appear to be the case? They are kind of in and out. Right now you can still see heavy flames in this house. They're coming in and out of the house. They were in a defensive mode when the cannon was on, but when they turned the cannon off, that's the only time they can enter the house to put flames on it. They talked about being in the attic, getting flames on it, but you can still see heavy flames coming from this house. Oklahoma City Fire, I'm telling you, they're good at their job, and when they have a hard time getting a fire out like this, it's a huge fire going on here uh, southeast of Eastern and Memorial, just south of Edmond. Like I said, we don't know how it started or if anybody was inside. Hopefully not, but I always, like I always say, I always think about the pets that might be inside. So hopefully uh, they'll get this water cannon going again, and they can uh, uh, finish extinguishing this fire without it spreading to the house or homes next door. If there had been any kind of wind, Eli, one of the houses next door would have been on fire by now. This inferno was that big. Yeah, absolutely. And that footage that we saw uh, coming from you a bit earlier when we actually saw the flames starting to consume the roof, there were firefighters up on the roof uh, just before that point. That was really quite shocking, but it does look like the fire department has made some progress there. They are spraying the home with water and hopefully the homes nearby will not be affected by that. We will have much more on this breaking story throughout the night, including at 3 o'clock, and we want to return you back to our normally scheduled programming.